was T. Mari back for another video. If you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you see. Today is just simply just going to be a get ready with me and I'm just going to be talking to you guys about my experiences currently going on with life and etc and etc and etc. Nothing really going on, nothing special. I just got back from Atlanta yesterday. I got a little bump trying to come right here, but hopefully we can stop that process and knock that motherfucker out before it tries to be there. I did the brows off camera because y'all know how makeup go and how this shit just takes so long to go. So I think I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna fix them. But I think I'm gonna do that last or like closer to the end. Cause I do feel like they're a little bit too thick. COVID-19, um, it seems to not be coming to an end, but it seems to be letting up on us, which is a very good thing, y'all, because this shit has been torture. And with everything else going on. But, you know, guys, Mother's Day was the other day. It was a tough day, honestly. Um, it was harder this year because I'm not working. I usually work on Mother's Day that kind of kind of occupies my mind. Oh my gosh, it's raining. I was gonna wash my car today. I'm not working, you know, usually I have that distraction. But this time I had like a lot of time to sit around and think. And I woke up this morning and that morning in the worst mood from seeing everybody post, which is, it's a very, very beautiful thing to see. Cause you know, people don't post their mother on a daily basis. You know, at least, at least not at once. But I went to sleep, I literally slept the whole day. I don't wake up till that night. And y'all know I have been going back and forth to Atlanta for like a long, for like the last couple of weeks. The last couple of weeks, and a lot of people have been asking that I move there. No, I have not. <laughs> moved to Atlanta. I haven't, even though I've been there like a lot lately, I haven't. Atlanta is a very mysterious place. Yeah. Very mysterious place, especially the people walking up in your cars with the bottles of water. But honestly, um, I'm actually happy with the space that I'm in. You know, it could be better, but I'm actually, for some reason, with less, less worry. It feels so much better, and I don't, under, I don't, I, well, I understand why, but still. You know, it's some, some aspects of life I want to, you know, keep around, but my life is going so much better without them. And when I say that, it's like, sometimes that means, that means people. And it's not a relationship or anything like that. It's just, you know, I'm constantly reevaluating my circle and the people that I hang around, so. I... I've come to the conclusion that I hate guys. Like I recently had a guy that um, I was kind of talking to. This person hurt me, you know? He came into my circle, honestly. He came into my circle. I opened up to him about what I had went through with my depression. I just, when I came to realization that he wasn't the person for me, I never held that against him. I told him strictly that, you know, there's nothing wrong with how you do things and how the person that you are, it's just that I know what is for me and I know who is for me and I know what what I what I want out of a relationship. Pretty he said some things to me that I could not get over. Some really hurtful things that I couldn't get over. Two, which seems to always seems to always be the case with guys and me. You know, they say some some hurtful things. It's like, he just, he really like told me to die. Like he was like, I hope you get AIDS. And his reasoning was because that he was mad at me. He was like, Marcel, you don't understand that you hurt me. And I was like, that, does, that doesn't justify your thing. You, he, it, it didn't justify anything. Like, it was so many things. He was like, you hurt me. He's like, you don't understand that you're, that you're hurting me. I was like, I'm not hurting you. I said, if I stick around, if I stick around, then I'd be settling. Because I know what I want out of a relationship. And if I feel like this is not that, then I need, then I leave. And I would encourage people to do that because... 
some people get into relationships and then you see what is presented and you see what is presented and you see what I got give and you know that it's not really just how you roll or something that you can deal with but you proceed You're like no when I um first started this off when we first started talking I noticed that you know he didn't trust me like within a month um I answered sometimes I didn't answer his calls because I was doing other stuff like you don't own me yet sometimes he would call and he would be like oh you was on the phone with your nigga or you was your you um where you get some money from you ain't working you what you with your nigga sending you money you with your flings like that's not something I want somebody that's secure like I dealt with that with other relationships and I want somebody that's secure. I'm going to make you feel secure. But at the same time, this was the beginning. Like, it wasn't even a month of us knowing each other. And he was already, like, doing this. This is a, this, you would think people would put their best foot forward in the talking stage. But he was already coming in with some toxic traits. I would like whoever I'm talking to to get the best version of myself. I say, I go into a relationship this is how I do things. This may not be how y'all do things, but this is how I do things. When I go into a relationship, I trust my guy 100%. No doubt. Because if I if I'm interested in you and I'm tr and I'm um and we're building on something, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to take your word for it because I don't know who you are and I'm not going to listen to the streets because everybody treats everybody differently. But he had a different look on that, which was your trust, my trust had to be earned. And I feel like that's like a friend trait. I'm somebody that's going to be around for a long time. Somebody that you're going to be building with. Somebody that you're going to be intimate with. And I just feel like that 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 shouldn't apply to me. That's how I feel. That's how I look at it. I want to give my guy the best experience. Like, we're talking with me. So, once I come in, you know, it's not going to be any doubt or anything like that. I'm going to take your word. And up, yes. In the end, it has hurt me doing it, but it has saved me time. It has saved me stress, so much stress. And that was one thing. And I feel like trust is like the foundation of a relationship. He always thinking that I'm like out doing something with guys or, you know, just stuff that I just don't want to like hear all the time. Like I shouldn't have to deal with. Like you don't, you don't even know me like that yet to be saying that I'm this, this person that you're trying to paint me out to be. To me, I just feel like that's toxic. You know, I go into my relationship, like, regardless of how sketchy, sketchy it, it looks or whatever, I'm never going to act off anything that's not factual because that's how you push people away, thinking that there's something that they're not. You just, you, you just take your due word for what the fuck it is, and in the end, if you end up losing, then you just know that you gave it your all. And I, and I, yeah, I've lost. I've lost. It's better to act off something that's factual because you know, and then you know that you're going into it with the right attitude and everything like that. But to completely blow something up that's not factual, you could possibly end your relationship. You could possibly damage something and you don't know for sure. Like, do you, do you want to, do you want to go through that? That's the reason, like, I'm just not interested. But also, it's just, I'm honestly just not even ready. Ready to be, you know, ready to give that part of me away again. And I, um, I encourage you guys to have authentic friendships because they last longer. It's, it can be good to have a group of friends, but I suggest throughout your whole life to only have one best friend. You know? To only have one best friend. Because more than likely, that's going to be the one that's going to stick around. You know, nowadays you have people who they pick their friendships. I don't think friendships should be picked. I think it. I don't think that is authentic. Because what you're doing is you're picking out people who you deem are fit or are fit for you. But my friendships, the ones that I have, they weren't picked. They're authentic. These are people that we didn't try to be friends. It just happened. And I love my friends, like regardless of whatever. It just shows that I'm a genuine person and I'm not the type of person to hide my feelings. Or anything like that. Like if I miss you and we were on bad terms. 
I'm going to take you. There's gonna be a lot cut out of this video, honestly. So, but overall, you guys, um, I'm honestly like I'm very, very, I'm more satisfied with my space now, now than I've ever been. You know, because I'm not giving anybody too much of my time. I'm not worrying about anything, and it's crazy to say. It's crazy to say that because I have so much. I have so many people, so many so so many less associates. People don't understand that if I'm giving you my time of day, that I'm intending on something. But you know, people. You know, you get so many people that have sex with people and do stuff like that and still not want nothing. You'll know if I'm interested in you because you'll get to see me. I'm not meeting up with nobody that I'm not interested in. I'm not, you know, talking to anybody that I'm not interested in. I won't be on the phone with anybody that I'm not interested in. Bitch, if you're not giving me a relationship, I don't want anything. Like, no cap. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not playing. Like, if you're not giving me a relationship, I don't want anything else. Like, I'm not gonna fault you for what you want and how you do things. But how is it benefiting me having sex with you? Like, come on now. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> of course, things could be a lot better. But, for the most part, I feel amazing. But, you guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, it's just a simple, just honestly, just get ready with me. And if you like what you see, Subscribe. Period.